interesting truck to check out at Unique, especially in classics. It's a 1979 Chevrolet C20 Camper Special with the Scottsdale Equipment Group. I guess I'd kind of call this a survivor, if you would. 350 V8, 5.7 liter underneath the hood. That's paired up with a four-speed manual transmission. Power steering, power brakes. Let's take a look at this front chrome on the bumper. Headlight surrounds, bright work around the grill. Chrome appears to be in pretty nice shape. This vehicle will also come with a three month, 500 mile warranty protection plan. That's included in the purchase price. And it may be extendable out to 10 years. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. And you can call in at 507-386-1726. UniqueClassicCars.com is where you can check out all the still pictures. Now you can see the paint does have a nice shine to it. It appears to me that the blue has had some repaint work done it on the top and the bottom, but the center silver seems to be fairly original. You can kind of tell with some of the patina in it. Take a look around the wheel wells. Of course, you have the rock card in front of that rear one, cab corners. Now, if you want to check out the window sticker for this truck, it will be in the still picture. So you can see exactly how this was equipped. It was originally a deep blue truck with Mystic Silver. So it was originally a two tone. This is the original interior, and it does show some age in the vinyl there. We'll get around to the driver's side, check that out a little closer. And I can tell you some of the options that were added on this one, it was ordered and when it would have came in new. Um, it does have the auxiliary fuel tank, um, sliding rear glass, as you can see. I mentioned the Scottsdale Equipment Group earlier, and it did come with the chrome front and rear stuck bumper. And there's more. Take a look at the still picture in the uh, pictures and the window sticker of said still picture. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. You can see CB radio once set up. That's a magnet, so what they do is they take it out and stick it on top of the roof. There's an aftermarket steering wheel in it right now. It does come with the factory steering wheel. Take your time looking through the still pictures. You'll see that too, uniqueclassiccars.com. Let's take a look down this driver's side. And you can see, it. there is a paint perfect down here, no. But, it does not look like there's a lot of corrosion or things that have been patched. It actually looks pretty good. And then again, it looks like the original silver. Throw out that door. Maybe had a little touch up here, or what have you. The Steppens, GM Town, that's, exact, that's actually where this truck was sold new. You'll see that on the window sticker. Of course, the camper special. That is a package that is also on that window sticker, so you should be able to see that. Let's take a look at this interior, original door cards. Rubber flooring. Of course, the vinyl seat. And again, you can see where it shows wear. Let's go ahead and fire this up in here at Run. We'll check out the engine bay too. Uh, 91,884 is what the odometer shows. According to the previous owner, believed to be original miles. Kind of one of those summer driven vehicles with a camper in the back. Of it. All right. And of course, four speed transmission, you'd have that lower granny gear. I need to actually have first, second, and third, but four speed considering that lower granny here. Take a look at the dash. Not too bad. I uh, did have a CB radio down here. There's still a mounting bracket and the wiring for it there. Uh, let's check out this radio once. Sounds like we have power. Not 
much for reception on the radio. Gets power, but not a lot of reception. Alright, get that 350 off of high idle down low idle. Slipper out of the back. I guess runs as you'd expect. It's no crazy exhaust, anything like that. Actually pretty smooth and quiet. Slip up to the front. Let's check out this engine bay. See how that looks and we'll wrap up this video. Underside of the hood, and here it is. Of course, power steering, power brakes once again. That's 350, 5.7 liter heater hose is still hooked up. There's a battery disconnect here for when it's in storage or in between drives. Pretty stock looking engine bay. Smooth runner, sounds good. It's 1979 Chevrolet C20 Camper Special in Scottsdale. Package 507 386 1726. Remember that 500 mile, three month warranty protection plan included in the purchase price. Maybe extend it out to 10 years. Consult with your sales associate. UniqueClassicCars.com, check out the still pictures. And we do consider trades. Financing is available. And of course, we can assist with transportation. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we're driving a 1979 Chevy C20 pickup truck. This is a three speed on the floor. Technically a four speed, but the first gear is low. So we have low one, two, three. You really don't need low on the street unless you're pulling something. Smooth running truck, quiet, stock sounding exhaust. Our oil pressure gauge is reading about 55 volts, about 14 and a half. Temperature is almost a quarter of the way up the gauge. And we're doing 55 miles an hour right now. Fuel gauge is reading just over half. There is a radio down here. I get some crackles, but I don't get a station. Windshield wipers do function. Ride is as you would expect. It's eight bolt wheels, so probably a three quarter ton, but it rides nice. Uh, stock vinyl bench seat in here. If I let go of the steering wheel, this truck stays nice and straight. We have an aftermarket steering wheel mounted. It is clocked a little bit to the left, but that doesn't affect performance at all. Brakes are working well. The odometer reads 91,883 miles on the five digit odometer.